टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट रेस्पिरेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न दैट लिविंग बींग्स नीड एनर्जी टू डू डिफरेंट टास्क दिस एनर्जी इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम फूड लिविंग बींग्स ऑप्टेन देयर फूड थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम फूड द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट the process of degradation of complex carbon compounds such as glucose so as to obtain energy is called respiration let's understand this process in detail depending on the need of oxygen we can divide the process of respiration into two types aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration in aerobic respiration glucose is broken down completely into carbon dioxide and water in presence of oxygen and energy is obtained in case of anaerobic respiration glucose is broken down without using oxygen and energy is obtained aerobic respiration produces more energy than anaerobic respiration the first step of both these processes is the same In this process, six carbon molecule glucose present in cytoplasm of the cell is broken down into three carbon molecule pyruvate, and energy is generated. Energy can be produced from the produced pyruvate molecules, but the method of production may vary. For example, in the cell organelle called mitochondria, in the presence of oxygen. a molecule of pyruvate is broken down into three molecules of carbon dioxide and water and thus energy is produced in this process oxygen is present that's why this is an aerobic respiration organisms such as yeast uses the process called fermentation in which pyruvate molecule is broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide in the presence of oxygen an energy is produced due to formation of energy in the absence of oxygen the respiration is an aerobic respiration sometimes while doing work the need for energy increases in such a situation often there is a shortage of oxygen in the muscle cells to generate energy in less oxygen these cells break down the pyruvate into three carbon atom molecule lactic acid formation of lactic acid can cause cram we can see this method of generating energy in some bacteria also the energy produced in the process of respiration is used immediately for formation of bond between adp and inorganic phosphate which leads to formation of atp molecule it is like charging a battery like a charged battery atp produced is used as a source of energy for the reaction in the cell whenever there is requirement of energy it is obtained by breaking the bonds between phosphate molecule of atp for aerobic respiration living organisms are required to obtain oxygen inside the body and to release carbon dioxide outside the body process of taking oxygen inside the body and removing carbon dioxide outside the body is called breathing breathing is a part of respiration process different methods of respiration can be seen in different organisms in unicellular organisms gases are exchanged by diffusion In plants exchange of gases takes place through stomata there is intercellular space in between the cells due to which cells are in contact with air they exchange carbon dioxide and oxygen by diffusion photosynthesis occurs during the day therefore carbon dioxide produced in cell during respiration is used in photosynthesis therefore 
ऑक्सीजन इज रिलीज फ्रॉम सेल्स ड्यूरिंग द डे इन द नाइट प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस डज नॉट अकर सो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिलीज फ्रॉम द सेल्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स organisms living in water obtain oxygen dissolved in water the fish takes water inside the body from the mouth and forcefully sends it to pass through the gills here blood absorbs the oxygen dissolved in water for respiration terrestrial organisms receive oxygen from the atmosphere comparatively the amount of soluble oxygen present in water is less than that of the atmosphere therefore the breathing rate of aquatic organisms is faster than that of terrestrial organisms in different terrestrial organisms oxygen is absorbed by different organs in humans air enters inside the body through nostrils nostrils consist of layer of fine hairs and mucus these fine hairs and mucus filter the air that goes inside the body so that the dust and impurities present in the air does not enter inside the body after this the air reaches the trachea via pharynx and larynx rings of cartilage are present in the trachea to ensure the air passage does not collapse two bronchi originates from the trachea one bronchus enters into one lung inside the lung the bronchus divides into bronchioles air from the trachea flows into the lungs via the bronchi and bronchioles in lungs bronchioles terminate into alveoli alveoli is like a bunch of grapes in the wall of alveoli there is a network of blood vessels the surface of alveoli is thin due to which oxygen is taken from the surface of alveoli into the blood and carbon dioxide present in the blood is released into the alveoli we know that lungs are present inside the ribs while inhaling the diaphragm becomes flattened due to which ribs lift up and the chest cavity becomes large as a result air flows into the lungs and alveoli fills with air oxygen present in the air of alveoli comes in the blood of the alveolar blood vessel the size of human body is large so diffusion pressure is not sufficient to carry oxygen to all tissues therefore red blood cells present in the blood contain hemoglobin hemoglobin has high affinity for oxygen the respiratory pigment hemoglobin takes oxygen from the air of alveoli and carries oxygen to all tissues and each cell of the body while exhaling the diaphragm becomes dome shape and thus it causes the ribs to come down and the chest cavity becomes smaller as a result the air comes out of the lungs in the process of inhaling and exhaling air the residual volume of air remains inside the lungs in this way there is sufficient time for absorption of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide in alveoli so today we learned about respiration 